Hey everyone, how are you today? I thought I'd do a quick helper video for those that are playing Formula 1 22 on the Fanatec McLaren GT3 version 2 wheel. So one problem you'll run into when you're playing the game with this wheel is that there's no button bind for PC buttons 7 and 8, which you sometimes need to use to gain access to the custom setup menu. So I've just got the, the um, test button mode enabled on the uh, game here and the Fanatec a GUI to show you what buttons I'm actually pressing. So I'll just quickly run through these in case you're wondering what maps to what, because you'll if you're playing the game for the first time, you'll wonder what which button is which on the wheel. So X is button one, A is button two, B is button three. I'll just press it because it'll exit us out of the um, button test menu. Y is button four, the P button is button ten, N is nine. LSB is button 12, RSB is button 11, and then we've got the toggle switches, uh, which is 31 for the right one down, 33 for up. Uh, bottom right is button 25. The little uh, funky switch just works as you expect. And gear shift, the right gear shift is button 5, and left is button 6. And you can map the uh, analog paddles, but they're not showing up on the... Uh, test mode so the last one i've left off is the one that i'm actually using for the button bind for six and seven and what i've done i've got this binding to the f numbers on the keyboard so f7 and f8 which is the equivalent of button eight so if we push up you see we've got f7 mapped and f8 is down you can use a software called joy to key to do this but you can actually do this with sim hub as well which i've already got installed so i'll just quickly bring sim hub up Okay, with SimHub open, all you'll need to do is go to controls and events, then over to keyboard emulation. And then you can see here where I've got the two mappings already set up. But if you want to add a new one and you can bind F7 and F8 to a different key combination, different button press, all you need to do is hit the add mapping, hit the click to configure, make sure that's set to wait for input during, and then I'll just push up the button three so that flashed up over here we'll click save and then you just need to assign it so for this one button 33 i'll set that to f7 and then to do the other one for f8 i'll click add mapping again look here click drawing and we'll push down Button 31 was detected click to assign and we'll put that to F8 and then just click off off the screen and that's it. So obviously got duplicates here, but you get the idea. And there you go, that's how you can bind any of the McLaren buttons to a keyboard input. Okay, that was the workaround. Hopefully this will get patched officially in a future update. But if you found this useful, don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, cheers, bye-bye.